So guys, as you've seen, I just uh, I got the gallery oil pastels from Mangyo and my mindset to buying this big um, kind of luxurious set is because it is pretty much more affordable than buying more colored pencils or just simply that's just simply because of passion for art supplies and getting to know more of my potential when it comes to different mediums so i got this a few days ago probably a week ago actually and i still haven't opened it and um i just want to now sidetrack that the reason why i i feel like i deserve this now is because i'm scheduled for my thesis defense and my study is bound to be published after its approval of course take into consideration a few revisions that will be given after my thesis defense but i'm guessing i'm celebrating early but i'm claiming it so i'm going to open and release it from its shrink wrap using this um, palette knife. Let's unbox the let's unbox this one together. Ah. Just savoring every moment that I get to unbox this, and the wood feels like it's um, it doesn't feel like it's like the solid wood, but it feels like it's a high quality MDF. It is pretty heavy, but it is still light enough where it doesn't feel too cumbersome. Here's what it looks like at the back it has here gorgeous gold, um, gold tinted. <laughs> hinges and locks let us see now i've seen a lot of videos of people reviewing the mangyo gallery and unboxing it and now i get to be one of those people okay so it comes with this pamphlet as i've seen in several videos which contains the color chart which i absolutely love it i love it when they include the color chart um not just mere collections of their um different oil pastels but it comes with a discussion of what colors do they have this is absolutely a good addition and i wish that karen dash <laughs> would include color charts on their gorgeous pamphlets as well and it has this protective foam to avoid them from rattling and it's top piece is covered in foam and these are the gorgeous oil pastels oh my god they look incredible they look beautiful so it comes in plastic trays instead of um individual foam casing or paddings which you know it's okay i'm gonna see underneath and taking a peek underneath these plastic case are is just already the wooden frame itself and it's really nifty that they have it in plastic days so that in case you have a bigger storage for your oil pastels you could actually just remove it from the the box and then just place your oil pastels where your storage may be and woo. all right i'm getting a green and this is what the sticks look like and i'm gonna take a whiff Okay, it has a funky smell to it and I've seen a lot of um, videos talking about how you could swatch oil pastels on the back of your hand or even on your palm. Um, I've seen Black Bean do that and I want to try, oh man, <laughs> to get an assessment of how it feels and this is what it looks like using the edge and this is what it looks like swatching it on the blunt end of the oil pastels and they feel, they're very, they feel very silicone-y on the hands. <laughs> Which gives me a feeling that they will be smooth on paper. And okay, it blends on the hand, but the one using the sharp edge retains more. But it's the hand, it's not the actual paper that you're going to use. So we will be swatching all of these 72 colors on my swatch book and probably give them a shot and create a simple art piece. So before we go into the swatching, 
I just want you guys to see how it looks like up close when you just open it. Mm. If you noticed, and I noticed this also when watching review videos of this, there are so many greens, so many blues, not a lot of reds and yellows as I've observed, but um, I guess your color preference will dictate if this set is for you, but for me, mm, I'm really pumped. So guys, I'll be swatching this gorgeous set of oil pastels on this um, gigantic sketchbook that I used for my swatching of my various um, Prisma Premier pencils. And this charcoal pastel drawing. So I'm just going to swatch them out here. No need for boxes. I think I'll just scribble a circle or a rectangle and then I'll be blending it and smoothing it out with my fingers and then yeah I think I'll be filming this on a um, faster speed just so that I won't bore you all So friends, here are the swatches of the Mungyo 20, I mean 72 set. And if you could see here, all right, the swatches and the pastels, ah, very cumbersome, very big of this set. Um, notice that indeed each of the color swatch really reflects the color that's there on the pastel so i think you don't have to keep a swatch book with you or a swatch chart whenever you're using oil pastels because sometimes you know compared to colored pencils and watercolors that's sort of unpredictable when it comes to what color comes out when you use them straight from the pan or using the pencil um, with the oil pastels you can just determine what color it is just by looking at the pastel sticks. Now, we will be moving to another sketchbook um, just to try and see some of the techniques that we can do using oil pastels. I'll be, um, I think I will be choosing a smaller sketchbook for that this time. Alrighty, so we're going back to a good faithful um, sketchbook that I use. This is the Tokyo Finds Watercolor Journal and you all know how much I love this for quick sketches and uh, several various media. The only thing about this sketchbook is that um, I don't think colored pencils is the best for this because the tooth of the um, hot press side and even the cold press side is a bit too deep. And hence, um, most colored pencils look muddled on it. But this time, let's see how um, how the Mungyo Gallery blends first in a typical gradient. Wow, okay. So I think this is the first impressions that I have when it comes to using the gallery. And I hear mixed reviews about gallery um, from several people. Other people don't like it that much. And some people actually prefer this one over the counterpart which is the Paul Rubens and it's another sort of the same level as this um, Mangyo when it comes now to quality. It's sort of a high student grade or an entry level to the artist grade um, oil pastels and 
Um, I personally haven't tried the Paul Rubens ones, but I think I might be trying it out soon if in case I fall in love with this medium. Now, see, it does create good gradients, beautiful gradients at that, and I'm using um, colors that are similar or beside um, each other here on this set. It's creating a great gradient, great gradient, um, a beautiful gradient right now. So this different aubergine and um, violet colors very nice and it does um, lay on the paper very smoothly and very very crisp actually and regardless of my techniques right now you could see that it absolutely has full opaque coverage on the paper now i'm really keen to see how they do once you blend it and a part of me thinks that since i um try to drag um, the pencils a while ago on the swatches, um, I mean the pastels a while ago up on the swatches that it might not um, stretch out that well or that much but then again we just have to see so I'm using mostly purples right now and I plan to um, sort of transition this swatch into probably another art piece once I get to blend it out so I'm using really minimal pressure on the pastels by the way it's like I'm just using the weight of my um, wrist and the pastel itself so I'm not yet pushing hard on the paper and it has this coverage right now. Now this is the test of a quality of a oil pastel and how it blends so I'm going to blend it with my fingers now and I'm not gonna clean my hands in between um, each color section already since they're very similar and I really want it to have sort of that um, quote-unquote unified look. So it's okay for me to sort of have one area bleed into the next, one color bleeding into the next. I don't want them to be pure color. I want them to be really blended and smooth. And they're blending really well with my fingertips, provided that I had to put a good layer of it on the on the paper. So I guess um, you don't just put one or two swipes and then say, oh, it's ready to be blended with my fingers. Similar now to when you blend your... Um, colored pencils with odorless mineral spirits you absolutely need um, some layer there before you can blend it and I think it's no different from this one alrighty so I am putting in some pressure on my fingertips right now to have it blend and it's not blending like like butter as I expected like I was thinking that you just run it through and then it's all nice and even and blended but you have to exert some effort to some degree so uh, it's great to keep that in mind um, just to manage your expectations from it now whatever is left on my fingertips I'm rubbing it across the edges of this paper now and dragging whatever is there beside so this is what's left on my fingertips um, not a lot and then this is how it looks like once you blend it my blending technique is not yet up to par with most people maybe i needed more layers to have a smoother blend on this one but you could clearly see some of the strokes that i did some rounds that i did on this paper but the good thing about this is that it does not transfer off your finger once you've placed it there which is great so that's a test on how it blends on paper let's see how it layers now so i have this dark purple background now let's say for example i'm going to make a um maybe a mountain scene right here some trees as you can see here i am very very loose with what i'm doing right now not even really very technical about it black layers pretty well over this one which is good pretty nice I should say Now, one technique that I see most people 
doing oil pastel is that they blend it with either a blending stamp or some uses a cotton bud for it so I'm sort of blending this portion right here especially the one under for the silhouettes of whatever is on top and I think you know what piece I'm sort of going for which is basically night sky with some trees and then a reflection so when it comes to layering this is two layers and it layered pretty nicely pretty well I should say now let's see if it can handle three layers okay uh, I mean it's not re totally repelling the third layer of it and I think it's just that um, I use black immediately and quickly that it's acting this way but it's not terrible it's not terrible let's try a fourth layer with an even darker more mossy green just to have it balance out i don't want um the trees to be stark black hmm. i think it is doing good maybe i should add a dark blue here maybe yeah oh okay one thing that i notice is that um when you put a layer over whatever layer you've already placed um it melts sort of seamlessly depending on the color of course that you use and it's just layering on very smoothly here on this sketchbook i'm I'm pretty surprised <laughs> not gonna lie I wasn't expecting much um because of some cautionary tales of others because there are some who were pretty um from YouTube that I've watched that were a bit skeptical with the Mongyo gallery not when it comes to um its quality but rather how it layers and uh, to be fair they were um really um pitting the gallery against higher even higher end um art supplies so Right now, this is a testament that it's actually performing well. And now, I'll try some scraffito. So I'm just running my palette knife across as if it's water. Then I want this area to be sort of... nice not like so this is a quick sketch in a way is this a professional drawing or um, oil pastel masterpiece that I'm going for now another um, thing that I enjoy watching this shorts of people doing oil pastel is that they take their palette knife Ooh, it fell is that they take their palette knife that they have and then they scrape out a small piece of the pastel and sort of mold it into something that is round or circular or whatever and um i don't know how they make it smooth like butter <laughs> smooth like butter but um from what i've read some use um a solvent which i am willing to try out you could clearly see now that i had the audacity to buy um, a sort of pricey art supply even if i'm just starting out and i think that's just my way of you know i'm showing my love and passion for um doing what i do which is sharing content here on youtube so here it goes wow it melted very well with just a dip of that other less mineral spirit oh it feels like paint actually pretty pretty cool i was thinking it's going to be a consistency of clay but this one turned sort of liquidy which i'm concerned should i add more maybe maybe i could use this to like sort of do a splattering technique and then create stars effect maybe let's see uh, this is usually done with watercolors, but let's see how it does with well, pastels. Oh no, that's a huge drop. Okay, I think it's not the best when you do that, so I'll just double. 
Do I have a toothbrush here still? Maybe I could use that on this oil pastel instead. <laughs> Let's see. I knew I kept a toothbrush here in my brush collection. Okay, here's an old toothbrush that I used to use. <laughs> and now obviously it's just reserved for doing art. So I just scooped up some of it. And I'm using a palette knife to Am I doing it right? Do I have enough? Huh. Just disappeared. <laughs> oh god, I wasted some scratchings from that pastel. And I need to wash my hands because there's OMS there. Alright. So maybe I could scrape out some more of that white or that gray. Mix it in with some white just to create that lunar look so here's the white then i'm just doing some shavings not a lot just enough look oh, that's a lot add some gray okay i don't want to go overboard because it's just a moon that i'm going for so I'm putting it on top of the case. Now I'm going to sort of melt it. I'm afraid that if I dip in once again to the OMS, it might end up to be just like a while ago that it's too liquidy. So I'm taking from whatever is left here in the palette a while ago and using that to blend it. And <laughs> it looks very conspicuous. Oh gosh, this looks very conspicuous. Okay. Um, one video that I watched from Shin Arts shared that um, he adds some hand cream, some cream lotion to this one to soften it. Maybe I could go do that route just to soften this a bit. So let me grab that. So here's a small squirt of that lotion that I used. This is Aveeno. I don't know if the brand matters now. Okay, so I'm going to take just a small bit of this hand cream right here. I think it makes sense that hand cream would work because um, it's a sort of an oily product, an oil. So I think it'll work for this purposes. By the way, um, this technique that I'm using with a thick layer of um, pastel um, is very reminiscent of the impasto style of um, of oil painting. Oh, okay. We got there eventually. So hand cream does the trick to make it creamy and soft. And look at that compared to how it was a while ago. All right, now to mold it into a circle. So I think I will be cutting out a circle in a small scrap paper and then I'll be using that as a stencil over it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. It's not a perfect circle, but I think it's, it's going to be okay here. So I'm getting some of it. Then placing it over it. What have I done? You know what? That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Okay, maybe I'll just quote unquote freehand the circle. Oh no. Okay. I think I can do this, I can manage it. Okay, I have it there. Then, round, we go. Was it too soon for me to do the impasto? I don't know, I think it was. 
That's a huge moon. <laughs> so maybe I can just place a silhouette of it here. Then maybe later I'll let this dry. Once the lotion is sort of dried out, I can maybe add more layers to this one. But that's the impasto technique right there using oil pastel. So from my current experience right now with the Mungyo um, oil pastels, as I continue to dot more stars here, the Mungyo um, oil pastels feel really great right now. And then um, it's a good um, entry level um, art material when it comes to price with artist grade quality and I think there's nothing more that you could ask for when you have um, that price that you paid it's not very expensive at all so I think you could appreciate that with this um, oil pastel set and you are already a winner by if you're able to get it because I feel like it's it's pretty good quality for your money and um, this gallery pastel set that I got um costs around um, 2000 300 I believe 2500 it's not more than 3000 pesos on Shopee and with that price um, you can't beat it because you get 72 artist grade pencils and it's a good way to start it's reminiscent of the Mijello paints and it's I'm just happy with it and um, there's art supplies that you just have that makes you want to improve your art and I think um, among you is one of those art this supply i think is a good um preparation for me to you know eventually venture out to even um higher level or more expensive oil pastels like the karen dash or the um Sennelier. so there's that uh, i'm looking forward to play around with this some more and i'm going to let this um the lotion and the pastel dry up but for now this is the piece that I created with the Mangyo 72 oil pastels. So that's it. That's my first impressions of this gorgeous um, oil pastel set. And hopefully in the future, I could film and create more videos on this um, set and maybe more on oil pastels. I'm thinking of maybe filming another, another um, video of me trying to learn or attempting to learn a new art medium. Um, similar to what I did to the soft pastel video. So that's it. Um, that's the video. I hope you have a great day ahead, week, month, year. And I wish you all the love. And as always, peace. <laughs> Stainy finger. <laughs> Stain on my finger. <laughs>